Hello, next topic is division and remainder and application of them. All of us know that dividend when divided by divisor, the answer what we get is called quotient and number what is left is called remainder. Let us consider dividend by letter X. Divisor is T, quotient is Q and remainder is R. We get one relation. Dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder that is x equals to d into q plus r here when the remainder is 0 we say that x is divisible by d your dividend is divisible by divisor we go for application of division and remainder. We know that divided equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. This is given by letter x divisor d quotient q and remainder we call as r. Here question they ask as your given number is x dividend is x given number is x which number we have to subtract or we have to add in this x such that the number what we get new number that is what we call x dash is divisible by this divisor d. Which number we have to subtract from x or we have to add in x such that number what we get the new number what we get that we call as x dash is divisible by divisor d. Clear? Here number what we have to subtract the answer is r. When we subtract r means remainder from given number that is dividend the new number what we get x dash is divisible by divisor d or number what we have to add is x plus d minus r which number we have to add d minus r we have to add divisor minus remainder in this x the number what we get is divisible by divisor d the new number x dash equals to x plus d minus r is divisible by your divisor d. That means when we add divisor minus remainder in dividend the number new what we get is divisible by divisor d. Let us check one example which number we have to add or subtract from 9873 this number such that new number what we get is divisible by 23. Now let us divide 
this nine eight seven three twenty three. We have twenty three four za ninety two. Come seven twenty three two za forty six twenty one. Then here comes three twenty three nine za. Nine three is a twenty seven two nine eighteen and two twenty. We will get six zero. Remainder is six. Now here your x equals to nine. Eight seven three. Your D equals to twenty three. Q four twenty nine. And your remainder is six. Now, which number we have to add in this number, or which number you have to subtract? Number. We have to subtract is R equals to six, and number we have to add is D minus R. Your D is twenty-three minus six gives us seventy. Now we get the answer R equals to six. Uh, number we have to subtract is six, and number we have to add is seventeen. That means when we add six in this number nine eight seven three, the number what we get that is nine eight seven nine is exactly divisible by twenty three, and when we add seventeen in this nine eight seven three, the number what we get is exactly divisible by twenty three. Next application. To find greatest n digit and least n digit number, which is exactly divisible by a given number, we have dividend that is x equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here we have to find the greatest n digit number, which is exactly divisible by a number or given number. That required number. First, we go for greatest. The required number equals to your greatest n-digit number. That is our x minus remainder r. Now, when we subtract remainder from greatest n-digit number, we get A required number. That means that number is also greatest number, but that is divisible by a divisor. Now next, we want least n-digit number. Required number that is least n-digit number, which is divisible by a given number. That is why given divisor that is equal to least n-digit number. Plus here we have to add. What we have to add? We have to add divisor minus remainder. We have to add d minus r in x to get required n digit list number. To get n digit Greatest number we have to subtract r from a greatest number, and we have to add divisor minus remainder to get our required answer. Let us check the example. Find 
greatest three digit number which is divisible by 17 and least or smallest three digit number which is divisible by first we know that first we go for greatest three digit number that is a and this is suppose b question for a greatest three digit number which one is the greatest three number three digit number 999 let us divide this 999 by 17 Seventeen five the eighty five. Seventeen eight the one thirty six. Remainder is thirteen. Now, when we subtract, this is your remainder R. This is your x. This is your d. And this is your question q. Nine 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 minus thirteen equals to that is your x minus r. Six nine eighty six. Our answer is nine eighty six. The greatest three digit number nine eighty six. When divided by seventeen, we get remainder equals to zero. That is, nine eighty six is exactly divisible by seventeen. Now we go for B part. We have to find least three digit number which is exactly divisible by seventeen. Least three digit number that we know is hundred. Now divide this hundred by seventeen plus. What do we get? Seventeen five zero eighty five. Remainder is fifteen. This is your x. This is your r. This one is d, and this one is question. Now, which number we have to add here to get least three-digit number, uh, which is divisible by seventeen? Your answer is x plus d minus r. That is hundred plus seventeen minus fifteen. Hundred plus two. That is equal to one zero two. When one zero two is divisible by seventeen, we get remainder equals to zero. That is least three digit number which is divisible by seventeen is hundred and two, and greatest three digit number which is divisible by seventeen is nine eighty six. Next, we'll go for remainder rules. Different remainder rules. The first rule. We apply for to get remainder for smaller division, or to find the remainder for smaller division. In this case, the number x is same. That is, dividend is same. There are two different divisors. That means, when dividend is divided by two different divisors, and the d. Is multiple of d dash. One divisor is multiple of second divisor. How to get remainder? In this case, remainder for greater divisor that is r is given, and smaller divisor is d. If there are there are two cases. Case one, r is greater than d. 
if r is greater than d then our required remainder we get by dividing r by d the answer what we get is your required remainder second if r is less than d then your required remainder equals to r itself clear let us check one example question depends on this application this rule if a number is divided by 68 the remainder is 35 what will be the remainder if it is divided by 17 here we have remainder r equals to 35 your d is smaller divisor 17 and d dash equals to larger divider 68 first check whether d dash is multiple of d or not 68 equals to 17 into 4 that means now our r that is remainder r is greater than d 35 is greater than 17 therefore required remainder is obtained by dividing r by d that is equals to dividing 35 by 70 17 to the 34 answer is 1 this 1 is our required remainder answer is 1